like, okay, if I focus on God, if I, you know, make him my priority, you know, maybe, maybe he can help me out with these things. And that's something I'd kind of been taught from a young age, too. And so I started doing that. And later that year, I was given the opportunity to go to the Math and Science Center um, starting my sophomore year, uh, which was a big plus, a bonus, and everything like that. And I'd kind of gotten over it, too. Um, I, was, I was okay with the fact that I wasn't going. And so it was really, it was just a bonus to get to go there. And then um, my freshman year of baseball was pretty good, too. I had a great time. I made good friends and stuff like that. And so things started to work out, and I kinda, I've kind of kept up with praying ever since. And um, it's just really powerful to me, too, because in the same way we're having a conversation now, you know, I can talk to the all-powerful, all-knowing creator of the universe, and that's, that's pretty special to me. To be honest, I've never had anyone say to my face that prayer doesn't work. I'm very open with my faith, with my friends. Um, they know that I pray. They, I tell them I pray for them. They're always grateful and thankful. Um, but for my friends who are open atheists, um, I have a lot of friends who are open atheists. I would say 50% of my friends are atheists. And um, when they talk about how they don't think God's real or they crack jokes about um, God around me, they, they know what I'm thinking, so I just keep loving them. They know that I pray for them, so I know that God can work through that. Even if they don't believe, God can soften any's heart and just keep being the friend that I am and continue to love.